Hello scientific people, how are you today? Today I am back with a very interesting uh, definition of 1 EV. Here we are going to understand what is 1 electron volt guys. So here I have a small circuit diagram in which I have two metal plates A and B. These two metal plates are connected with a battery. This is the positive terminal, this is negative terminal. Suppose V is the potential difference across the battery. Now since I have connected this B metallic plate with the negative, negative terminal, so this becomes cathode and this becomes anode. Anode is positive, cathode is negative. Now guys, the distance between these two plates I have kept D centimeters. This is V. You can convert this into meters too. So here we have A and B two metal plates connected with a, a battery whose potential difference is V. Now we are placing a very small electron over here. This electron is at rest. Its speed is zero. And I am placing it over here. Now guys, what's going to happen is this negative cathode is going to push this electron in this direction and this anode is going to pull this electron in that particular direction. So what's going to happen is the moment you connect the battery, there is an electric field that is set up in this direction. And let's call that electric field as E. So the moment you switch on, this electric uh, circuit, the electric field, constant electric field is generated in this particular direction. What's going to happen now is this electron is going to experience the force in this direction. That force F is equal to electric field multiplied by the charge. And we know that the charge of an electron is E. So this is the force which is going to be experiencing this electron in this particular direction. Under the effect of this force, electron is going to get accelerated in this direction. So the speed of the electron is going to increase in this direction. So F is the force and A would be the acceleration in the same direction. So here the electron is at rest. So its speed is going to increase, 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 increase and it's going to be maximum somewhere over here. After that it's going to collide with the anode. So here let us assume the speed of the electron as Vmax. This point, call this point as A, this point as B. So the kinetic energy of electron at B would be equal to 0 and the kinetic energy of the electron at A would be equal to half m v max square. So the gain in the kinetic energy would be equal to k a minus k b that is equal to let us consider this as delta k that is equal to half m v max square minus 0. So this is the gain in the kinetic energy when an electron travels from here to here or travels by distance d across the potential difference v. Now guys, if this electron gains the kinetic energy from where it has gained the kinetic energy. So somebody might have lost this much amount of energy as per the law of conservation of energy. So battery actually does some work in bringing this electron from here to here. Because who exerts this force? Battery is responsible for creating this electric field and creating this force. So this battery is going to do some work, W. Let's calculate that. So the work done by the battery is equal to force multiplied by the displacement. Force exerted by the battery on the electron is E into E multiplied by the displacement. Now guys, let's rearrange these terms. E multiply by E into D. Now this E multiply by D is nothing but the potential difference. So E into V because E into D is V. So the work done by the battery 
work done by the battery is equal to ev now guys work done means loss in the energy so that means this battery loses this much amount of energy and the same amount of energy is gained by the electron in form of kinetic energy so work done by the battery means loss in the energy the same loss in the energy is equal to the gain in the energy but this form of energy gets transferred into kinetic energy so loss in energy by battery is equal to gain in kinetic energy by electron so let's equate them so this w and this delta k are one in the same so ev is equal to half m v max square this is the equation that is very important for the understanding of this one ev still guys i have not talked about one ev but now let's talk about the definition of one ev one ev definition says that gain in kinetic energy of an electron when it is accelerated through potential difference of 1 volt so that means guys if i set if i set this voltage as 1 volt then the gain in kinetic energy is said to be 1 ev so w is equal to ev this is the loss in the energy by the battery so work done is equal to e times v that means e is the charge of an electron that is 1.6 into 10 raised to minus 19 coulomb and if i set the voltage to be 1 volt then this energy this work done that is coulomb into volts that is nothing but joule and 1.6 into 10 raised to minus 19 joules guys this is what is called 1 ev so 1 ev means the gain in the kinetic energy when an electron is accelerated through a potential difference of 1 volt so work done by the battery or loss in the energy by the battery is equal to ev so e is the charge of an electron that's over here if i keep this as 1 volt then this work done or the loss in the energy is said to be 1 ev so this 1.6 into 10 raised to minus 19 joule this itself is said to be 1 ev so hopefully guys i have explained what i wanted to and if you have any doubts related to this please post in the comment section and if you have not subscribe my channel please do that guys thank you for watching the video thank you